All right, so what's up, and welcome to another episode of Bomb Diggity uh, Arcade. Um, I'm over here in the overflow area, and I have some projects, and of course these are mostly projects, but uh, I have some stuff to work on. Um, I did swap out this television, which is kind of cool, old television. I swapped it out with this uh, newer um, smart TV. I also, as far as other projects, everything's kind of dirty. Oh, man, it's just like, it, I've been super busy with work. But I did rebuild this trackball. Um, I put new rollers, new bearings, so now that thing works great. But uh, the one thing that I do want to work on is this, this gyrus. So these buttons, um, I kind of want to go ahead and rework these. I got some new buttons. And look at this control panel. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but it just started just kind of flaking and I wanted to kind of go ahead and clean up some of this stuff and and just uh, just give it a good overall cleaning. So um, the rest of the game doesn't matter so much right now because uh, I'm still waiting uh, to do a space, a dedicated space. So once I get the dedicated space, then I'll go ahead and finish up and kind of do the rest of it. But, uh, you know, just playing, I, I like to have like nice, somewhat clean control panels. So I need to go ahead and work on that. And uh, I do have the artwork, the CPO. And I wanna try to get this old artwork off, which is kind of just flaking already. And pull this off, uh, clean it, um, go ahead and paint it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a new overlay. So uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to actually get all of this. I, I really don't know how this thing comes off. So um, I haven't been able to find latches, or at least I don't think I have. So I need to go ahead and try to figure this out and figure out how to get this off. So that way I can kind of just clean the joystick and go ahead and uh, replace this CPO. So uh, yeah, you can see how it's just flaking off. It's actually probably not going to be too hard uh, to actually pull off. Um, yeah, it probably won't be too bad. And then uh, I do need to clean up this joystick. This joystick is just like um, just kind of done. So I need to go ahead and clean it up. It works great, but um, it could use a good uh, just overall cleaning and uh, probably a little bit of lubrication or something. I need to look into that. But all right, so let me go ahead and get to work and let me see if I can go ahead and get this control panel off. Okay, so a little bit of an update. Uh, I went ahead and I got, um, I took this off. I basically took the the, the artwork off and I took the, the, what do you call it? The like smoked plexiglass that it has. And uh, there was a couple of wing nuts right behind these bolts here. And I took those off and uh, it does have a hinge, but I cannot figure out for the life of me how to get this uh, this control panel off. And I feel like such a noob right now. But I took all kinds of things off trying to figure out how to get to it. And I even kind of pulled this off, which I probably shouldn't, but uh, it had like, uh, I don't know if it had like double-sided tape. And I also fixed my camera because uh, the light was a, uh, uh, was a little bit too um, too warm so I kind of put it a little bit cooler but yeah you can kind of see like this thing is just kind of let me actually decrease the brightness a little bit but this thing is just kind of toast so I really need to uh, replace it so I'm like frustrated because um, one I don't know how to uh, open it up it doesn't have latches I look through the inside it does have like these like um, kind of like I guess like rings or whatever and then these bolts go through that and then there was a wing nut on the back side but if you look you it, it's like flush right here so it doesn't doesn't come out and i don't want to pull too hard on the joystick and break it because the joystick is a uh it's not just a normal joystick i mean it's a monroe so i don't want to break that but um yeah i just don't understand how this thing comes out and i know there's some bolts here but i'm sure that's when you take it off you know to go ahead and uh, take off the control panel like once it's open because it's really hard to access the way it is right now but um yeah so i mean i just i don't know but yeah look at that that stuff's just flaking off look at that it's just it's just time to be replaced so i reached out to a buddy of mine uh emron and uh he uh is going to reach out to another friend because uh he forgot how to open it up and then i reached out to another buddy of mine thad these are all like arcade people and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to think of anybody that I know that owns a gyrus that knows how to open this thing up. It just doesn't have the normal latches like the way I normally open up every single game or uh, anything that I've opened. And I've had like, you know, 50 plus games. So it's not like uh, this is my first game. But uh, yeah, I'm just feeling really much, pretty much like a noob right now. And I cannot figure out how to open this up. So it's kind of frustrating. But I had to figure I'd just kind of give you an update. Um, 
as far as like trying to figure out what is going on and trying to get this get this control panel off all right so let me see if anybody messages me back so that way uh we can go ahead and get this thing off and uh we can actually start pulling it apart and start working on it actually okay so a bit of an update um i had to help carry in groceries and uh my mom brought uh some chick-fil-a over so um decided to go ahead and take a break but uh i was still having a problem with this thing I took the wing nuts off uh, after speaking to my friends about it. They said that's how it's supposed to come off. And I still couldn't get it off. So what I had to do is, and I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bracket on the inside. And as you can see, it finally did come off. And I started kind of like stripping it a little bit. But it finally does come off. And I need to go ahead and disconnect the quick harness. But there's these little brackets here. I don't know if you can see it. But um, this one I noticed was stuck. It was just, was not budging at all. So what I had to do is I just had to unscrew it and I need to screw it back in. But uh, once I unscrewed that, um, it seemed like to kind of loosen up and it seemed to just come straight out. So my bet is that this thing has not been um, probably opened in who knows how long or ever opened, <laughs> to be honest with you. Although they did open it, I think, because we have some um, stuff going on here. I want to say this was a leaf, um, button and they changed it so I may have to do some reconfiguring here I got some new buttons that I gotta I gotta go see what I have and see how uh, my buttons work compared to this here um, but yeah I need to see what I have see how I can get this to work and then I need to go ahead and take this off and, and go ahead and clean this up and make it look better and then uh, get this quick connect off but um, yeah it's open so I'm super happy about that um, it, I didn't expect it to take all freaking night but um, at least then we can start working on this control panel. Once I get this cleaned up and re kind of rebuilt and functioning a little bit better, uh, I'm going to go ahead and everything else is in pretty good condition. I just need to go ahead and kind of clean everything up. Um, like I said, I, I really want the plane surface to be good. Um, not too concerned about everything else really at this point until I can get this into that dedicated arcade. But I do want to get this 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 kind of like you know just plain area. It's a little like it's a little it's a little grimy right now. So I want to get that kind of cleaned up. Yeah, and it's just like it's really really bad. So I just kind of want to get this redone. So it can be more like like this one here. So I think that's a uh, I don't know that's the that's the goal. So I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything tonight. I may just have to just kind of like leave this as is and then uh, just come back to it, uh, you know, fresh thing uh, tomorrow and uh, go ahead and try to look at it. I do need to look at these buttons, though, because I ordered some from Arcade Shop and I swear they stick out like this. So I need to see what the heck I ordered. It was suggested when I got the CPO and now I'm wondering if it's the right buttons. So I got to look but just because of the way these are. And to be honest, I mean, this is okay. You know, I could probably just clean up the switches a little bit. But this is the one I really want to change because this is the one you use during the game. But, uh, yeah, so that's it for now. We got it open, so we are on our way to redoing this CPO that shouldn't have been this much uh, difficulty, but it, it seems like it uh, got a little, little bit more difficult here. But, uh, yep, so that's it for today. And uh, hopefully you come tomorrow and be able to work on this a little bit more. Definitely kind of clean up. See all that surface rush, uh, rust. I need to figure out um, what I can. I know how to clean it, but I need to figure out how I can kind of seal it. I know there's some stuff that you can buy to seal it, but uh, yeah, that's it. I wish I could get the badge. If anybody has that, that's what I want. See the holes. I want the Centuri badge. But all right, I will see you. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> all right, talk to you later. Okay, so we are in the second day and we do have the gyrus control panel taken off finally. Um, I had some issues even getting to this part, um, as you saw before, but then even um, getting the rest of it off, I had to unclip a part of the harness and uh, started taking this joystick off and then I couldn't figure out how to get the hinge off, but I did get the joystick off and um, you can kind of see what we got going on here. We got a lot of a lot of rust. And man, it is just dirty. Look at that. So I have the other pieces inside. I think I'm going to soak them. See if I can clean them up. But uh, I'm going to see if I can kind of clean some of this stuff up outside. And then go ahead and get the rest of these buttons off. And then I got to get this control panel off. 
clean it up, sand it, paint it, and then we can start working on the control panel. But hopefully we can work on the joystick simultaneously. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can kind of just improve this a little bit and uh, see if we can um, just kind of clean that up. It's just, it's nasty. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to see what I can do here and uh, just see if we can kind of clean up the joystick a little bit too. Joystick's not too bad. It's just the shaft that's kind of kind of bad. And then the plate is a, uh, it's like that sticky, it's like the sticky residue uh, thing going on here. So I don't know what that was about. I don't know if that was just like some kind of gasket that Gyrus initially had. Um, I don't know. It's, I mean, you know, it doesn't seem like it's ever been open because the the harness and all that was uh, not even clipped. So uh, this all was probably original and just has been closed since day one. So I still got to take these bolts out so that way I can go ahead and uh, kind of just uh, paint it because, oh my gosh, look at that. I need to remove all the old control panel and paint it, but let me get to work. Okay, so we went ahead and we got this joystick off. And yeah, this feels like a, I don't know, just like a, it's like a weird grommet. And then um, the buttons are off and we even got these other bolts off. Uh, so everything is off as far as hardware wise. So everything should be completely removed. So now I can go ahead and that's actually, yeah, I can feel the control panel through there. But um, I should be able to go ahead and start removing um, this uh, control panel, but it's just kind of flaking off. I'm just see if I hit it with a sander and see what happens. And if not, then I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun and just kind of start getting it a little bit pliable. And then just go ahead and just kind of scrape it off and then go ahead and sand it down. But yeah, it's a uh, it's been a journey, but actually it's not too bad. And I went ahead and let me look at where those parts are at. Uh, where are the, oh I think I took them inside. But I did take care of the base. Um, I just kind of hit it with sandpaper a little bit. And then I need to take the other um, simple green or whatever and just kind of soak some of the parts. Uh, but yeah, so let me go ahead and get started on this. All right, it's starting to get dark out here and my hands are all like completely rusty. But uh, I got all the control panel removed. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean it up. And uh, after that, I think we can start uh, spray painting it black. So that way we can get it kind of good to go for the, for the paint. <laughs> And then uh, hopefully we can get it painted tonight and then uh, check on it tomorrow and just see how it is and see if it's uh, if it's good or if we need to do like one more coat before we hit the CPO on it. And we might be able to do that on Sunday. But uh, yeah, it uh, actually came off pretty good. So I, I am pretty happy. So still need to clean it up just a little bit. But overall not too bad. I kind of sanded off a lot of the rust. I could probably do rust off, but um, it just seems like it's kind of like deeply pitted and when I did that rust off before it didn't really remove it but I might just hit a little bit more and then just kind of clean it up so we can paint it all right that'll probably be it for today I'm just gonna paint it and then that's it and we can see how it looks tomorrow all right I'll see you tomorrow okay so sorry I have actually left out a quite a bit a part of this uh, little restoration that I have going on here uh, I went to go pick up some more stuff that I needed but as you can see there is control panel all over the place and I went ahead and I had already done the painting I had already taken apart the joystick uh, actually did quite a bit I was just trying to look and see like how it, it was kind of put together uh, right now what I'm doing is I actually came to get this because what I want to do here is I did not have so I ordered the button but um, the only problem was is I didn't have this little holder and the one was a what do you call it micro switch and the others were leaf so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave this one unhooked this is player 2 and I took the player 2 leaf switch and I moved it to the actual shoot button and the idea behind that is that um, the player 2 button was probably not pressed very much so of the two uh, other leaf switches, even though the player one probably wasn't hit like a lot of times, um, the idea was that the player player two was probably hardly ever pressed. And um, I just want to see, make sure it's making a good connection. I just wanted a leaf switch back on there because that's the way it should have been. And that's what I want for that fire button. And um, yeah, so um, went ahead and I painted all of this. 
Um, I took this all apart. I tried to remove all the rust that was on it and uh, just kind of tried to rebuild it so you can kind of see what we did here. Uh, I've just been trying to put it back together. Hold on, let me get this kind of situated here. But yeah, so this is kind of the finished product here. Uh, what do you think? Um, not too bad. I mean, not perfect, but not too bad. Uh, I redid the bolts. So uh, kind of went ahead and sanded them down. I, I tried to clean up the joystick, but I think I needed uh, something to polish it, but that might be at a later date. But um, it's all, it should be all pretty clean. Um, the bolts are all done. They're all like uh, cleaned up. Uh, I kind of sanded them down and hit them with some paint. But overall, the control panel doesn't look, uh, doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't know, what do you guys think? And the button definitely feels better because the button was getting stuck because it was a micro switch and it was hitting a little thing. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just not going to put the back of this until I can get um, an actual uh, leaf holder, leaf switch holder. And right now what I need to do is I actually need to, um, and this is kind of what I was working on and this is kind of why I went inside to get the razor blade. But um, it should have, uh, what do you call it? It should have like holes. Uh, Let's see where should they be at <laughs> I need to cut like little holes here and then I can get the bracket back on so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be right back all right so welcome back so I got the control panel all mounted and uh, everything looks good um, it has a little bit of dust on it but uh, that's only because we are actually a lot later uh, I had to order some more parts so if you remember the buttons were not uh, which one is it that one I think it's that one it's not uh, connected so I have this all up uh, it is great I got I got my highest score ever uh, playing it but I had to order some more parts so uh, I had to order a new switch uh, a new switch holder and the little nut to hold it on and then I figured hey you know what uh, while we're doing that let's take a look at some of these other games here so that's a uh, kicks. So kicks has a uh, um, the buttons look a little old. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that out. And then uh, Pleiades, I bought a control panel overlay to kind of fix all of this issue. And then there's like cigarette burns and all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and work on this. And get this one changed out. And uh, I'm I'm dreading this one because I know this one has that that um that connector in the back or the the bracket that's kind of hard to get out so uh we'll work on this one but i i need i need some victories right now and uh i, I want to work on this one just to get this one changed out so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna go ahead and get it open so how is everybody doing uh, i have not um started off this year and actually when we started working on the gyro cpo it was actually uh, December, and it's now January, and uh, I'm actually not feeling very well, and the weather's been terrible, but the weather's actually really nice right now, so I wanted to get this done. So this is something pretty easy to do, so I figure why not, or it should be easy to do, <laughs> never know, right? So let's go ahead and try to get these changed out a little dirty and I'm wondering if I'm gonna need I thought I bought a tool for this but I might need to get just a set of pliers to loosen those up so let me be right back okay so I'm back I actually got this this is kind of cool it's magnetic so it actually um, allows me to hold any like screws or anything like that so that was a christmas gift so that's kind of cool so i figured hey why not bring that out but yeah so i haven't been i have not been feeling well and unfortunately right now with all the covid stuff um just kind of figure okay uh you get sick which usually i get sick around this time anyways um but you kind of start thinking it's covid um so I haven't lost any taste or anything like that, so I figured uh, I wouldn't get tested because I think I'm just sick. I think uh, New Year's Eve and sitting outside, um, all that good stuff, 
it's just not a good idea and i think i just got sick so hopefully that's all it is it's nothing more than that but we'll see i guess time will tell we're so close to you know having the vaccine and all that so it would be it would be terrible to you know have uh, something happen this close to the, the end of this road of being vaccinated so hopefully um everything's okay all right let's see now we gotta pull this off let's see let me get this let me get this off real quick okay so i don't know what i was thinking but i actually did not have to take those uh the little e-clip off i don't know why uh, i felt like i had to could just be a little bit out of it but um show you the difference of how they look so of course these are the new ones if you can see them it's a little bright whoops let me turn on let me actually turn off the light that'll help but let's see so new ones versus old ones Okay, so it was getting dark outside, so I just went, I went ahead and just kind of continued here. Uh, my mom came over and started talking to me just about, you know, first day back and whatnot. So um, this isn't like full restoration or anything like that. The game isn't too bad, uh, not to the point where I need to break it down and do a full restoration. It is a player's game. It plays great. But, um, yeah, so I, I just decided to just kind of clean it up by changing these buttons out because these buttons were just really, really bad. Uh, let's see. I want to say they were these and might have to just turn the brightness down just a tad just so you can see them a little better but those are the new ones and then these were the old ones and if you look carefully you can see they're like it's like cracking or whatever like the plastic's cracking so i just kind of wanted to kind of just clean those up by just putting some new ones on there and uh here's some of the other buttons and here's some other issues i ran into uh so i went ahead and did pleiades pleiades i did order a cpo from uh, this old game um, so I need to go ahead and change that out. That's the reason why it's on there. But I just wanted to change out the buttons. Um, I did make a mistake, though. <laughs> so if you look carefully, uh, these buttons that I ordered are orange, <clears throat> and the originals were red. But it looked so faded that I thought it was orange. But the white ones actually came out pretty good. Uh, you can kind of see there. It has that original cigarette burn or whatever. So I went ahead and changed these out. I'm going to have to pull them off again once I get that CPO. But um, I think that's all we're going to do for today. These are all the buttons that I changed out. Um, I can't open this one. I need to go get the key so I can pull this control panel down. But it's also getting kind of dark and it's going to start getting cold. And I'm st still not feeling well. So I don't want to be out here, um, you know, possibly getting more sick. But uh, I have to look at this tomorrow and see if we can get this opened up. Hopefully it's still a nice day. It hit about 70 degrees today. But I need to open this up and then um, I think it's the player two button. The player two button does not have a switch on it. It had the micro switch on here and then I put a leaf here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new leaf and put it on the fire button since that's the most used button and then move that uh, switch over here to the player two. And then uh, since it is, um, let me see, I want to say, let's see if I can pull it out can't pull it out but I want to say this is it but it doesn't I don't think it has the nut or anything so I went ahead and ordered uh, all of that stuff because since it was that micro switch and not a leaf I needed to order the leaf button holder I needed to order the pal nut and all that good stuff so that way I can get this one um, put in but yeah uh, it seems like it's holding up fairly well and again like the stick feels great I mean it's 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 buttery smooth now Whereas it was a little rough uh, when I first, uh, you know, before I started kind of doing a little bit of restoration work on it. But uh, yeah, that's all for today. And uh, yeah, I mean, this project's turning out great as far as this control panel. Everything looks great, like the, the bolts and everything. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's only like about a month since I've done it, but still. And uh, yeah, it is about a month since I started this just because... Uh, I hurry, I hurried up and I rushed the project because I had a buddy coming over for the asteroids, uh, meteor shower or whatever. And, uh, you know, I had to order this. Once I opened it up, I realized that I didn't have the right button in there. So I had to order those parts and then the weather's just been cold and then it was Christmas and 
New Year's and, and whatnot, but the weather's actually uh, turning out to be a little bit nicer. Um, so then I was like, yeah, you know what? I've been stir crazy uh, being inside the house. Let me come outside and work on that. So, but yeah, that's it for today. I'll come back tomorrow and uh, take a look at that and see if I can get this like just kind of wrapped up and done. So that way this is good. And I definitely like the way kicks looks now. The buttons look, buttons look great. It's just kind of like refreshing to have uh, some new buttons on a game. And then once I get uh, Pleiades, the new CPO, uh, this game actually won't be too bad. It does have like a little cosmetic work that I need to do, but overall it'll it'll be a lot better than what it was. So, and you know what? I'm going to order the red buttons. I'm going to order the right buttons, and I'm just going to save these because I want it to be the right ones on here. I need to look more at the pictures because I, I swear I, I checked it like several times, and I thought it was orange. But uh, let me look at the pictures, and then I'll probably order some red ones. It's like two bucks a button, so it's not that much. But I, ha I have to order some more stuff anyways to get some of these more of these games working. And then eventually I'll have to look at the Neo Geo to figure out what's going on with that monitor still. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we are back out here. <clears throat> Actually have a key this time. And we're gonna go ahead and try to get this control panel off. I uh, got out here a little bit later than I wanted to be, but nonetheless, still out here. So we'll see if it's a little easier to get off this time. Uh, last time it was a little difficult. So I brought a screwdriver just in case if I need to take that bracket off. It doesn't seem like the screws are aligning right. And that's what makes it um, kind of hard to take off. And all it is is it's attached with these wing nuts. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a, it's a couple wing nuts. And that's all that's on there. And that should allow us to access this so we can actually put the button back on. Or the switch, I should say. And then we'll be done with this control panel. trying to turn it but without dropping it almost to the end there we go so there's a second one and this is where I think we're gonna have the problem <clears throat> where the thing's not gonna come off so I'm just taking the leaf button holder the leaf switch and the palmet just sticking it to the side because I had it on there just to be ready yep it feels stuck to see which one do they both feel stuck <laughs> so I think this is what we're gonna do since they are both stuck I'm gonna actually I know that this one was a problem last time so I'm gonna kind of see if I can take this one off first and it's kind of like blindly trying to find it just has these screws unfortunately this is not how um, it used to be. <clears throat> I think I can loosen that second screw and then keep it on, I think. Let's see, does that... Nope. Might have to just take the whole thing off. Yeah, where's that? Okay, so why is the bracket still on? Is there three screws? Let's see. Oh yeah, there is a third screw. <clears throat> so I wonder if we take off that first one. Is this like a triangle of screws? So I'm gonna try to stick that other one back on. Try not to take the whole bracket off. It's gonna just make this take longer. could like stick my head in here but come on okay so let's take off the one that's I'm trying to find it okay so that's the two. So the third one's still on there, but I think it's loose enough now where it'll actually come up. But I think this side is still stuck. 
So we're going to do the same thing. I actually won the missing. <laughs> Did we lose a screw? So let's take off the... Let's take off the one. I think we might just loosen up the other one a little. Just like that. That should allow this to come up now. Hopefully. There we go. Aha, success. Okay, so now let's close this. And now we are inside the control panel, which should be a lot easier than that. So let me readjust here. Uh, let me readjust the camera to a better position. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I just kind of stuck the control panel here on the, <clears throat> I mean, I stuck the camera on the control panel. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna just remove that pal nut. <clears throat> Sorry, still not really feeling well. Man, I wonder if I'm gonna need a screw for that. Oh no, it has a screw, I think. Uh, so I need the screwdriver. What do I do with it? What did I do with the screwdriver? Um, oh, did I leave it in the coin box? I think I may have left it in the coin box. Yeah. <sighs> left it in there. Y'all ever leave tools in your games? <laughs> okay, so... I think the, the plan is... To take this one off. And we're going to replace it with a new one. So the, the holder and all that, I'm not too concerned with, but just the new switch. I'm gonna have the new switch on there. Okay, so take that off and let's get the new switch, which is right here. So we're just gonna transfer these wires, these connectors to the new connector. Just make sure those are on there without breaking. And then we'll keep this one for the player two. And then, like I said, I'm not too worried with the, what do you call it? With the holder. Let's go there, right? It's a tight fit. Shoot, maybe I should use the other one. It's kind of a tight fit. Let's see if this one's any different. You know, this one doesn't even have it, right? So this one, I guess, just screws on. Looks like, maybe that's a difference. That might be the difference right there. So let's try that and see if that works. I'm glad we didn't force it and break it and then have to do this all over again. That would have been terrible. Okay, so. Trying to see how this works. Does that bust through? How does that work? So that should go. Hmm. Wait. Hold on. It should go like this, right? So it goes through here. Then it goes through there, right? I'm glad we didn't drop that. No, it actually goes like this. Getting this all confused right now. Okay, let me commit to actually screwing this in. get one in that'll be great okay 
so that's started at least. So you get the other one. Alright, hopefully this is all the right way. So that should go like this, and then let's put the new helmet on there. And that should go like that. It's making a contact, cool. All right, so now we have the other leaf, older one. So we're going to put this, uh, let's see, just connect the little connectors on there, take this off, this is a micro switch, it's a micro switch that was on there, we're just going to connect these little connectors, little quick connects into that leaf, just like that. And then uh, wrong way. <laughs> Wait, how does this go? Uh, it goes this way. Don't. Sorry, I'm still like out of it. Okay, so we have that. Now, do we have? What was uh, was this the screw that was used for that? Hopefully this was the screw that was used for it. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty, it's pretty rusty. Okay, let's get that screw back in. Okay, so that switch is on, and now we just need the power nut put in. Okay. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, sort of. All right, so that's on. There we go. So that should all be good to go. Should have all the leaf switches now. And then let me see if I can show you. Sorry, trying to get the camera adjusted. Has a little Joby Gorilla Pod. These are the brackets I'm talking about that I keep having issues with these here. So the screw is supposed to go through here. This screw on the control panel is supposed to go through here. And it's supposed to slide in and out like pretty easily, but I always have to loosen up. There's three screws there, and I always have to loosen up two of them in order to get it to come out. But you know, whatever works, right? Got it to work. All right, so let me kind of close the control panel a little bit. I want to test, make sure the buttons are working before we go ahead and screw it all back down. So let me go ahead and turn the game on and do all that. Okay, so I got the control panel kind of like closed a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just test the buttons. And uh, just trust me, this is player two, so I'm going to press player two. It works. So uh, the thing I want to do is just check the stick. Stick works great. So let's test the fire button. I'm trying to play with one hand here. But fire button's working. So that means that works. Fire button's working great. Can't play with one hand, but... Okay, so the one thing we have to test now, and that red thing, I need to figure that out. Let's test the player one. Just wanna make sure player one works, because that's definitely gonna be key. And I need to figure out what's going on with that. It's like something like, uh, it's kind of shorty. To make it flash red like that. I need to see what's in here. I can't remember what's in here. I think it's a 4900, I'm not too sure. Okay, so let's test player one. Oh, nope. My bad, too early. We still had player two. Okay, so now player two game over. That should be the end. Now let's test player one. All right, seems like it's all working. We are good now. All right, so that's it. So that is gonna be the conclusion of um, this control panel do over. It actually has the right buttons. It should have the right buttons, the correct color buttons. 
And this project should be done finally. It took like a month. <laughs> it didn't. It wasn't actually a month of work, but it just took a month to get the right parts and everything. After opening it up, realized not having the right thing. But let me go ahead and finish screwing this back in, and we'll call it a day. And that'll be it. And I will see you on the next episode.